भक्ति तत्व विवेक इसलिए भक्ति बनाओ ठाकुर इज द राइट मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टेबल वैष्णवाज आवर सोल ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू रेलिश एंड प्रोपेगेट द नेचर ऑफ शुद्ध भक्ति एंड टू लॉर्ड हरि Therefore, our foremost duty 
is to understand the two nature of Shuddha Bhakti. This understanding will benefit us in two ways. Knowing the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti will dispel our ignorance concerning topic of the Bhakti and thus make our human life successful by allowing us to release the nature derived from engaging in Sukha Bhakti in its pure form. And secondly, it will enable us to protect ourselves from the polluted and mixed conception which currently exists in the name of Sukha Bhakti. We have seen that so many uh, disciples of Swamiji, lacking of good association, bona fide Vaishnava association. They thought like this, this mixed bhakti, this thought that it is pure bhakti. Thus, some of them are propagating mayabad. That if there is bhed and abhed both, if what bhed? Difference and now, not difference. Achintya and consumption. Then Jiva Goswami and all our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took sannyas from uh, Kesavhat, sannyas, not name and things. Also, Madhvachaya took sannyas from any Mayabadi sannyas. Sarvadamodar was in the line of that. They think and there is no harm that we are taking the philosophy of Sankaracharya and Bodhism. They are taking this. I am telling frankly now. So many, not so many, uh, some of them. Only taking of association. So we should know. What is Mayabad? What is mixed bhakti or adulterated bhakti? We should know karma mishra, jnana mishra, tapa mishra, all these things we should try to know. And then we can make Shuddha bhakti, otherwise not. Unfortunately, in present day society, in the name of Suddha Bhakti, various types of mixed devotion, such as karma mishra. I told what is karma, what is gyan, what is shuk, and also I told, what is karma mishra? Karma mishra are also two kinds. Where karma is some prominent and somewhere bhakti is prominent. Karma pradhan, bhakti. And bhakti pradhan, karma. Bhakti pradhan karma is somewhat better than that. They have chance that they can be rectified. Similarly, what is karma? What is karma? What is karma? All activities that are meant for the sense, senses, satisfaction of the person. 
creative excellence. The fruit. I am doer of that work of God. And the fruit I will taste. Then it will be karma. When I am thinking that I am also Brahma, but now, anyhow, I have been covered with Maya, and when Maya will go, I will be Brahma. I am Brahma, still now at that. And they think that world is mithya. And they want salvation, mixing in Brahman. This is Gyan. And Gyan Mishra Bhakti, they are chanting name of 24 hours. Day and night, no sleep in night, and chanting Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. They will never tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Or something. Their Svachidananda Bhagavan, Sat means, Chit means, Gyan, Satti, Ananda. There are not three things, only one thing. There is no misery, nothing. Only ananda, ananda. But what is that ananda? Zero. So, this is Gyan. And Gyan Vishya Bhakti, they are chanting, remembering, worshipping also Krishna, Radha also. All they are doing only for salvation, mixing in Brahma. These are Gyan Pradhan Bhakti. No, they know that by easily they can have salvation. They can mix in Brahma. Very easily by chanting name. Because Kaljuk is Jubhadharma. So by easily what by stories of lakhs and lakhs births and only in some day by chanting Krishna they will merge mur in Brahma. So why not adopting this method? So they are adopting method to reach their goal that is Sahaja. This is Gyan Pradhan. And Bhakti Pradhan again, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Nakam Chati Samasaravesh Bhutesu Madhbhakti Lavate Param. They have not offended Srimad Bhagavat, not any devotees. Brahma Bhuta. The six virtues <coughs> that Atma has no birth and death, no sorrow and suffering. These are all for body and two more. Abhat Pakma, Vijaro, Vishako, Vishako, all these heavenly. Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma, always happy, always happy. If any problem comes, oh, it is for you, not for us. <laughs> not wanting anything, worldly desires. <coughs> and they are equal to all. These virtues are there. But there are also some consideration for Bhagavatam, Gita, Sambhavati, not offending. Then, if by love, 
they have an association of pure bhakta. Like Sanakshan Darshanatan, they have so much faith in his father and by their association. Oh, at once he gave up all these things. Sukhdev Goswami was also like somewhat like this. First, there are two Sukhdev. Hmm? In other Purans, Sukhdev Goswami he went to Janakpuri there. And he took some initiation, like instruction. initiation or instruction, instruction from Janak. He was not the same. So, this so the son of Vyas, <coughs> and he at once went to forest and Vyas they quickly called him and he read Srimad Bhagavatam with Vyas his second. The another who who went to Janakpuri, it is told in other Jew. Kalpa. In this Kalpa, this Sukhdev is another and another Kalpa before that. That Sukh was. Who came to Janakpuri and quite naked and he wanted to go enter in the palace of Maharaj Janak to have some teaching from him. But Janak told his Get it, it, it. There were about seven gates, one after another. So first gatekeeper he told that you should stop him for seven days there. Don't tell him to take anything. No reception, nothing. Don't allow him to sit anywhere, he can sit anywhere. And the seven day we are there. After that, he entered in second. There also three days he was checked. No honor, nothing. Thus checking, checking, checking. When he get, came on the last gate, oh, so many young ladies, very beautiful. So many, with garland, with so many things. And they received him with the dance and kirtan. <coughs> but he was like an uh, dry wood, <coughs> nothing. They were three days taking Sukadeva Goswami, dancing and singing, but no effect. After that he was sent to the council of Maharaj. There, Narada Rishi was sitting and Janak was not on the throne but nearby, nearby, near the lotus feet of Narada Rishi. When he went, at once all were stood up and they honored so they, Maharaj Janak took Sukhdev Bhushan and made, made him seated on one side of the throne and Narada was sitting on end of one end of it. And he went inside his palace and told his very, very beautiful wife too young and too beautiful, mother of Sita, you know, how beautiful. And he told that you should decorate yourself with sixteen guns of Singar. Singar means? Decoration. Decoration. And she became more and more beautiful. And then he 
brought her yeah. and he told that you should sit in the middle. Sitting of Narada and Sukhdev. One side Narada and one side Sukhdev was standing naked and she came also decorated and she at once sat between them. Then Sukhdev was having nothing to do like dry food. Oh, always remembering Brahma. And Nardarishi, he saw the beautiful queen of Maharaja. And he did pranam to her. And he left the seat and he said, sat on So Sukhdev was one and always. But anyhow, by the association of uh, Vyasdev, he was turned into a pure But we see that any Vaishnava had not turned to Mayavadi. Never he had become. Never. Raman was Mayavadi. Kumbhakarna was Mayavadi. Meghnath was Mayavadi. Also, this Hiranyakashipu was the biggest Mayavadi. <coughs> All the demons are Mayavadi. But some of them had been turned. But any Vaishnava had never been turned to Mayavadi. Shankaracharya defeated so many learned persons, but not any of Vaishnava. He defeated Bhagavad Karmi, some Dhanis, <coughs> some others, Bhautism, but not any of Vaishnava. He made so many explanations of so many books, but he wanted to write something about Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhashya. But he was ordered that you should not touch. He went to Varans. He was coming to Vrinda, but never he had heard that he came to Vrinda. Never. Oh, you should be there. He, he wanted to go to Navadvi, but he was bored. Oh, don't go there. Maya was very dangerous thing. If it will come in any Vaishnava or Vaishnava, or Bhakti will go and it will go for uprooted. So we should know that what is Mayabhad and we should try to be very careful for Mayabhad. Also, karma is very dangerous but not harmful like Mayabhad. The theory is that we should think and not work and tester of our God. So in the beginning, we should try to offer our fruits of all karmas to Narayan. But when a pure devotee, we will associate with any pure devotee then we should know that we are eternal servant of Krishna. But not a um, comparison. We are eternal servant means like a son, like a friend in Vrindavan. He thinks that I am, if I am servant of God, Krishna, then my everything is of Krishna. My body also. And if family person, then his wife, his children, his husband, his home, his everything is of Krishna. So he is not master of anything. And if he has something, separate, 
then he is now servant. That is why Prahlad Maharaj has told First offer yourself and become him and then you should do everything. Then it will be bhakti, shamanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smart. Otherwise, you have not offered yourself, your body, your soul, your senses, your whole properties, your wife and your son. Oh, something I am doing and something among of all these things, I will give something. Very delicious food, any mind. Oh. <coughs> Gurudev, I am giving This is a very little part. I am donating Gurudev 10,000 of pound or dollar. dollar. It may be that it will be the very small part of his whole property. But giving, it means you are giving some little, not you have given yourself or something is with you. So only some fruits are given. So it is karma mission. And karma pradhan, karma prominent. Karma prominent. So we should try to know karma. And its fruits also the karma also, myself also, my karma, everything. Then everything will be done for us. Whatever you do, do for, for the health, for to please Krishna or to benefit of Krishna and the devotees. Then it will be no karma. Very hard to do. Easy to say. Easy to say. But very hard. And if you are going, then oh, at once a liberation, at once, quickly. No delay of one second, liberation is there. No attachment then. Then having some honor for all these things and doing for Gurudev and Vaishnava. I remember that in my Brahmachari Jeevan, my Brahmachari life, uh, Gurudev was very much. He never went to fake anything, anything. What is really coming? Anyhow. Anyhow, passing the day, all the chanting, remembering and preaching like this. So when we came, we saw that there is nothing to cook, nothing to do, anything. No vessels, no pots, nothing. No one single chair in mud. <laughs> nothing. What you will take in evening? In night, there was nothing. So, we thought that we should try to go to fake somewhere. So, uh, I never knew how to bake. I was like a police officer. So many servants were doing with me. And so many uh, police uh, constable always serving so I never did so. But I used to go. And very morning at about six, on foot, five miles, six miles, ten miles, twelve miles, sometimes in rail. And very hardly all day up to six to six, twelve hours. Five rupees, six rupees. 5 rupees and 12 anas. 12 anas, you know. 0.75. How to complete 6 rupees? And then used to go to go. Anywhere? Oh, can you give me some pies? And completing 5, so fraction, and to 6, and he used to go. Guru Maharaj used to take. Oh, I have never have any amount for him, anyone. And he used to give us inspirations. We have never ever any, any pies in our pocket. Whatever he used to do for him. 
up till now i never thought that this is my and i should be this everything what i have for krishna and for you and that is why we are so much in india and sometimes i be for this how they are merciful to me that anything reading at once going so deep and may never any doubt never any doubt so we should all try to be like that if you are how poor householder mahaprabhu has allowed something concession that you can have something for maintenance of your but brahmachari those who are brahmachari are mathavas always engaged in this things then we can realize all this other way in grihast also we speak love pandavas like shrinivasacharya like rayamananda rashman all then you will feel that oh very easily we are at arms unfortunately netly presented in present day society in the name of shuddha bhakti various types of mixed devotion such as karma mishra mixed with fruitive fruitive action gyan mishra mixed with x to let it know is and yoga mishra what is yoga now the yoga is not like gita yoga means what plus union union that must be two things one soul and one krishna god and if they are added collect eh? connected how they will be connected with bhakti then this is called bhakti yoga when karma yoga when all all karmas all activities will be added to krishna then it will be karma yoga you are giving you are doing so many things and this four fruits you are giving to krishna then it is karma yoga but when you are becoming of your gurudev and totally surrendered then all your karmas all the fruits are of krishna this is bhakti pure bhakti not karma jo but when you are only adding something to krishna for krishna and something for you then it will be karma jo offering your fruitive karmas and fruits bhakti karma jo sai yeah right patram pushpam phalam toyam na jat karoshi jat karoshi jat karoshi jat karoshi jat karoshi jat karoshi tapasyas kaunteya like this kind this is karma vishnu dhruv was of this karma vishnu karma vishnu pralad maharaj was but he is not like this he was shukta bhav but he is he is called gyani bhakt not karma vish gyan vishra bhakt not yog mishra yog mishra means by uh, some down 
नियम आसन प्राणायाम ध्यान धारणा That is path and jal. This is yog. No need of this path. No need. They don't deny it. And sometimes they accept this path. But what is this path? Or all the fruitin, uh, all the fruits of karma now have become this path. And by this is what sukh and dukh, happiness and is. We are controlled by that, and that is called apurva. The fruits of all karmas are apur, and heat is what, and according to our fruits, we are having so much birth, death, suffering, sorrow. Sometimes happiness and all, <clears throat> but really this is not true. In Gita, uh, no. Gita it has been told, yogi are so have of them. What yogi? First, uh, this should be. Nishkar, Nishkarma, offering everything to Krishna, and then uh, you should remember, or you should entrance see Paramatma, and then there will be a link between Paramatma and Jivatma, and this is called Jiva. But this job, if you are surrendering, like they are first, and then they are remembering, then it will be fun. That pure job, and Krishna will be there. But not by this job. Can Dharma Samadhi one should be there? So sometimes some devotees do like this, but for. As we don't require to do anything, from beginning, chanting, remembering, and giving ourselves everything, totally surrender. So, <clears throat> first we will have to do surrender ourselves without any gain. So in Gita it has been told: Sarva Dharma Na Pritya Jama Me Ekam Sarvam Braja Antwan Sarv Pavya. As well as various polluted and imaginary conceptions are spreading everywhere like germs of plague. Now we have no plague. I've heard that if any one is present in the whole village, one house affected by plague, quickly they used to give up. Because in some moments they can be attacked, or oh. but now you are not. So, so these these are more 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 dangerous than plague. Now going spreading everywhere. People in general consider these polluted and mixed conceptions to be bhakti. I think that this is not. Some are thinking that my body is also not. Because Achyanta Keda be, Abhed also. So they think that <laughs> my body also think that we are bhakta because offering flowers, offering preparation, so many things, also doing arati. What we do, Sukla bhakta, they follow all this. But they want to march, and that nothing to all disciples. Even the gurus, like cool guru, 
they think that we are public. They may be public, some of them, but not all. But they think that we are Sutra. But by associating them or taking mantra from them, zero will come. Nothing. So, Kibab, Vipra, Kivan, Nashi Sutra Kenunayan, Jai Krishna Tattva Vetra. Anyone knowing all these things, whether he can be Sutra, very wretched class of us. Uh, any class, no. Jati, uh, he can be Hapsi of Africa, he can be Civil Caste, Civil Caste of India, or anyone like Vidu or anyone, but he is. The polluted and mixed concepts are our greatest enemies. Some people say that there is no value in bhakti, that God is an imaginary sentiment only. So many. God is nothing. Only, only a sentiment that God is. Vivekanand is in our country, or he is thought to be a very high class of a realized soul, but he is in that order. Sentiment. We prefer to play football than to read to Gita. To read Gita or going and worshipping in Gita. So these are all in the man has merely created the image of God in his imagination. So God is nothing. Like Buddha, how he began like this? His father and mother had so much belief in God. They were used to worship God. And he was in a chakti of family. Chakti, you know? But he went to once when he was of sixteen years of age, princess of prince, he told that I want to go to see my village or my kingdom anywhere. The king knew that he is very soft hearted person. He told his uh, minister, minister that you should take him with you and you can go and show my king. So uh, they were in a very good chariot and they were. When he came from his palace, Anywhere a baby has taken the birth and he was kyon, 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 he was baby. So much. What is this? Why is weeping? Oh, he has taken just birth and he so thankful way. He had just come out from his mother home and so is. went on and then he saw that there some where boys were playing football and all other things. What who are they? Oh the same boy he has become like this and oh. like this. Then he saw that some band was going on and so many persons followed a palki bala Palette pen and very decorated a boy was there of 24 years. And a girl was with him. 
What is this? Oh, now he has become matured in age and they have been married. After that, he saw an old man. Who is this? Oh, the same who was. No, no. Who took birth and that he became some bigger. And after that, he was married and now he has become old. No remedy. He will have to be. Oh, I will also be old like him. Oh, yes. And after that he went and he saw that four person there taking any one on a bamboo bed and telling Ram Ram Sakta Ram Ram. <laughs> Ram Nam Satyaman, all this is not like this. Only suffering and sorrow and dying and death. Now, only Ram Nam Krishna Nam is only true and everything is Don't be engaged in no. What is this? Oh, so many are crying and weeping and taking. What is this? Oh, this same boy. Who was married and who became old, now he was in that all by living and he has left his body. What is this? Oh, I want to return just now. Just now. Then he was dead. Yes. The Prime Minister told him, his father, oh, he has returned just now. And he is upset. And in the midnight, anyone could not see him where he has gone. He left his home, father, mother, everything, and he went. What is reality? What is truth? What is all our all our illustration suffering? So I saw being in trance, and he went to Gaya. Gaya, you know. The burning place of this new of Uttri. And there in the paper tree shade and he said, if there is any God, he should come in my trunk. And he should tell me that what is truth. What is truth? I'm saying that this this body is not truth because it was transferred to so many stages and this body passed away. So it must not be true. Then what is to be anything in this, in him? What is that? <coughs> if God or soul are here, then it must be realized. So he sat for so many days. But nothing came. Nothing. Then he told that, oh, God is zero. World is zero, from zero everything has come, and at last we will have to miss the zero. Nothing all this. Why it became? Last day saw, saw him in his trance. You know, he saw that. Purnam madah, purnam idam, purnata purnam udhichyate, purnasya purnam eva. Purnam. He saw the purnam Krishna. With all as your states. Nanda Vata, Sota, Srimati, Radhika, Nalita, Vishaka, Sudam, Subal, and whole Vrindavan Dham, Rajaman Dham, he saw. And he saw that those who are forgetting Krishna, they are going down in this world. And those who are taking shelter of Gurudev, pure Bhakta, and taking shelter of Krishna, they are <coughs> again, not again, they are. Serving Krishna and they are going to Vrindavan or And seeing this, he come, he manifested Srimad Bhagavat. Bhagavat was before him. This is prayer to, to <coughs> Narad, Vyas, Brahma. Because Vyas, Brahma has. Realize this. Four shloki bhagavad. So, 
that eternal, this Gita and Bhagavata are eternal, not new, new thing that that they composed it in letters, nothing. He a realized from Shrenta. Because he surrendered himself and he followed Bhakti Yogso, Krishna came in his trance, trance but he was not surrendered so this Gautam Buddha not surrendered so. How can he come? He will never come in lakhs and lakhs trance. So never come and he thought. So this is called Sunneva. So he also thought that this is what I am doing, it is all right. And now, uh, from this Kivalat Dvait Bhad, the theory of Shankaracharya came. He, Shankaracharya is also in this line. Some part, difference, outward, not inward, no difference. So, it is very dangerous. He has told one thing that these polluted and mixed conceptions are our greatest enemy. Some people say that there is no value in bhakti, God is an imaginary sentiment only that man has clearly created image of a God in his imagination and the bhakti is just this is the state of consciousness which cannot benefit us in any way. But these persons telling like this, they are not our so <coughs> greatest enemy. Who is enemy? Who are telling that we are good, but not truly fallen? The enemies from outside, they cannot do anything so much harm, but the enemies of our home, they will do more harm. So they are enemies in our home, like a rats in our home, always cutting claws here and there. It is very, we can be very careful from tigers, bears, they cannot easily come to our home, our homes, but they are always leaving our home and cutting so many things. So, yeah. Bahar ke sattu, hamare aukna dek sattu nahi nahi. Outdoor enemy is not so great enemy, but enemy But, jo hamare andar ke sattu hai, wo hamare adik sattu hai. Kaun, jo ye kaat hai, those who tell that we are bhav. Something doing like as bhav, but not bhav. So, he tell. These types of people, though opposed to bhakti, cannot do much harm to us because we can easily recognize them and acquire them. But those who propagate that Bhagavad Bhakti is the highest dharma, yet behave against the principles of Shuddha Bhakti and also instruct others against the principles of Suddha Bhakti can be especially harmful to us. What? What I told you? said that those who are preaching... Can we look at it? Those who are preaching... Uh, Mayavad philosophy, Buddhist philosophy, other types of uh, uh, philosophies opposed to Bhakti. And you can see them externally that they're not so harmful as those who come in the dress of devotees and they are posing like devotees and they are preaching a philosophy that they presented to be Shuddha Bhakti. But actually it is it is not Shuddha Bhakti and they're they're actually cheating and misdirecting so many people that those people that they're the greatest enemies. No, Mayavadi is also not 
They are inside the people. No, because they are outside the people. We can recognize them easily. Because they are a dandy. They don't take tila. They don't take mala. They don't read Bhagavatam. They don't follow Bhakti Jo. So we can recognize that as his Maya. But those who are taking tila, mala also. Hypocrites. Yes, hypocrites. <coughs> but, but the Mayavadis who have adopted Bhasti also, they are, they are, they are difficult to recognize. It is more than hypocrites. It's, it's more than hypocrites. Yeah. Because hypocrite just says, I am something, but I am not something. It is very when you hard to recognize them. Sure. In this shape of poison. Therefore, with great in power, our previous acharyas have defined the swaru or intrinsic nature of bhakti and have repeatedly cautioned us uh, to keep ourselves away from the polluted and mixed concepts. We shall deliver, deliberate on their instruction in sequence. They have compiled, compiled numerous literatures to establish the swaru of bhakti, like Chief Goswami. Rupa Goswami has written so many books and he never dealt with all these things, karma, yoga, kanta. Only Shuddha, Raganga, Bhakti, Swaru, Siddha. Especially the Bhakti of Especially. He has not caught at the arguments of Maya Vadi and all these things. He was so far away. But Ji Goswami saw that now so many persons in the disguise of devotees and they are um, spreading all these things like plague. So he wanted to uh, make two sides so strong, strong like Ganges should go on and no pollution should come. That is why his all the books uh, like Shak Sandarva, Sam Sarvashambadin and other books are like Pakka Concrete Wall. Concrete Wall. So that is should can come. And Srila Bhakti Virunthaku and all other Acharyas have accepted and taken the essence of these things in Jaivadhar and so on. So we, there are three kinds of bhakti. Saru Siddha bhakti, then Sangha Siddha bhakti, and Aru Siddha. Though it is very hard, not so hard, we think, but we should try to know. If you are not knowing, then your idea will be change of bhakti, and you can be karmi, mayabhakti, and not. So we should try to know also. And in evening, I am giving classes of Srimad Bhagavad. Especially, uh, we have 14 days here and I think that most of our devotees will go also to be here. So, no hurry. In 14, 15 days, I want to speak the whole Srimad Bhagavatam brief. But I want to tell something most important things of Srimad Bhagavatam. I know that I have begun in Mathura Srimad Bhagavatam. Now it is 54 years I am there. But I could not uh, complete one time even. 
when I begin one chapter, <laughs> even Brihat Bhagavatam, it is like Srimad Bhagavatam, explanation of Srimad Bhagavatam. I never complete. Only one chapter, two chapters in a year. And now I am going into old world. Now I have not, no time. I wanted to repeat. But I will try to speak on some past times of Krishna, especially in Krishna. But I will touch all the important past times of old Srimad Bhagavatam from beginning to end. But I know that I could not, I cannot complete. But anyhow, I will try. And new, new. Some things you taste. And you will really, if you are hearing all this say very patiently, you will know that what is bhakti and how we should do bhakti, your bhakti. And especially of present bhakti. Oh, my God. 
then about more than 88,000 of Rishi's Marshis, devotees, were assembled in Namishar and they were questioning to Sutta. There were two Sutta Gosha, they are two Sutta. One Lom Harshan and other is Ujjayi Shava, Ugra Shava. One was the cycle of Vyas, Lom Harshan. When he used to uh, explain all the Puran and Itihas, that is Ramayana Mahabharata and Puran, his heart used to be melted. And that is why long this hair used to be standing right, past Shakti Tika. But he was killed by whom? Baldev Musa. He was so uh, high class of Rishi like and disciple of himself, Vedapyash. But he was killed. He was like a guru. Why, why he was killed by Baldev Prabhu? When Baldev Prabhu, travelling everywhere, when Koros or Pandavas were quarrelling, and big battle of Kurukshetra was going on, and he, he saw that Krishna wants it and he wants to help Pandavas not to Kauravas and he thinks that he always thought that Durjodhan is my disciple so he left and he began to travel all India especially to the Tirths to touch the Tirths to make them more powerful because he is Balde. So when he reached Namisharan, he saw that uh, Sut Goswami, Lom Harshan, the shadow of Vyas, very prominent. And he was reading Purans. When he reached there, he could not get up and could not swagat nahi kar saka. If Guru or any higher class of devotees comes, we should try to stand up and to greet him and to do welcome. When he is coming, we should go from force there and then doing prana is welcome to give him to see with seat words and then we can do it. But he was thinking that I am disciple of Vyas Dev and I am so high class of devotees, all are hearing me. So there was a false ego in him. I am so bad. And he thought that Baldev Prabhu is like householder person. Because at that time he was in Dwarka and he has married Revati and Baru. So he thought. He has some, so much honor for Krishna but not for Baldev. Not thinking, realizing. So, 
he did not stood up. Also, there were so many rishis there in 88,000 of rishis. So high class of devotees. And he, he thought that like disciples all are hearing me. So sometimes he has that ego that I am more superior than me. A katha vachak, a harikatha telling person, Sitting on the Vyasasana, he should know all these things he should know. How to respect. So he could not do like this. He thought a gen, common person. So he not welcome and he become furious. Why? Because he is himself Krishna. Especially in the uh, way of Guru, he acts always like Guru. Sometimes punishing, sometimes teaching, sometimes doing all these things. He has plow in his hand. For what thing? To give seed in the heart of the bhoti. First he will plow and make it very fertile and then he will be give the oxygen. And he has a mota danda, mushal, mushal, by which klab nare, godana, mushal. is a pestle. Mushal means? Mushal is a pestle. Pestle. And he has kept it, if any wild elephant or any will come, that he will punish. Both things. Plow is referring to praying. And this a weapon to chastise. Eh? Chastise. Wow. Guru should be like this. But he was like so. And he cut his head by his only by doing so. You are not qualified to be a guru. A guru should be realized. Always doing bhajan. And giving proper honor to all the devotees. Having so much prem in Krishna. Like Madhya Madhikari. And he should have so much kripa, mercy to others beginners and he should acquire those who are opposite. But he was not fallen. So he quickly did it and he was dead. So if anyone is not doing so, being a guru or Vaishnava, then it is a very big offense. Aldeya Prabhu is punishing. Anyone. So you should try to follow these things. Nowadays I am seeing so many so called gurus not welcoming, not giving proper respect. What to tell, speak of this? They neglect him, any devotees, and they do opposite. So, you should try to know all these things and behave them with honor. You should try to learn Trina Dapi Suni Chena, Taro Rapi Sahi If there is a guru but any qualified person more than him comes, at once you should try to. If he is doing archan even in the, in the altar or temple, he must come on and he should respect his guru. Or the Vaishnavas like him are more superior. And if equal rank, he will. When I am coming, <laughs> like this. And he will tell, oh, you should see, I am waiting. 
So we should try to follow. So he cut down. We know so many gurus. Here first we will speak of, we will speak about Narad Goswami and Vyas. There are so many kinds of guru. We have heard of the guru Aruni and Uddal. Uddal, Aruni, Upa, Upamani. Aruni was the Brahmin and he was very beautiful and he wanted to read and know all the Vedas Upanishadas and he came to his Guru. He told that you should be at least 12 years being Brahmacharya and serving here and he was serving. One day the wife of his Guru, no, he himself told that today is the rainy day, very cold days and so much rain. You should at once go to the field and repair Dikes. 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 So that water should not go away, otherwise paddy will not be given. He went in the night and whole night he was repairing, but he could not do it. He was giving mud, so much mud, but as the current was so strong, strong that it used to take. Then he slept there. By his body he was checking, stopping the water. And water is so cold, raining, that he became like wood. Only some sense was there in the mid time. Gurudev came searching him, oh Varuni, where you are, where you are. He told me, Guruji, I am here. Oh, what are you doing here? I am lying down to check, to stop water. Oh. Then he went there and saw that he is about to die. He touched him and he became very energetic again. And he took him and told, giving his hands on his head. Oh, all way, all Upanishad with meaning should come in your heart. And quickly everything was there. So Guru should be like that and Shishya should be like that. Nowadays, so many students, so many disciples with Gurudev and when he will order him very any, anything, very hard, very difficult for them. They will at once give up the ashram quickly run away. They want that, oh Gurudev, why you made me guru, uh, me disciple if you cannot offer me or uh, you can not give me, supply me, my food, my clothing, my faring to go to India and coming to India and here and there. You should, if you are not saying that I am going to a very special Gurudev who can pay all these things and nourish and support. Why you did? So, you should not be like that. Also there is a Guru, Upamani, you know. Uh, he went to his Gurudev, that Gurudev, I want to read Vedas Upanishadha. And I want to know the real truths of you should be also twelve years of in this, And you will have to graze my cows. He went to graze cows, nothing, ABCD of Upanishad, nothing doing. Twelve years you should go on like that. In the meantime, you can fly away, no harm. But when you have fight in twelve years to me, then quickly I will do all these things. 
in the meantime he was going grazing cows he saw that one day he asked the boy opamannu he was so energetic and you are so healthy what you are taking he told that when all the cops are satisfied with the with milk of their mothers then remaining something i took take and thus i took oh i have not told you to do so don't do like this otherwise you are thief <coughs> correct yours then he left this and went after some months he saw that he is still so strong he asked that, now what you are doing how you are maintaining your life oh when the cops taking their mother's milk and they sit down uh, cows and when they are doing chewing some foam comes and i used to take from and i did Oh, don't do, don't. I have not told you to do. Go on crazy, but don't do this. Then he was so hungry. One day he was thinking what to do. He saw that there are some leaves very fat, thick. having so thick, and having some no. like milk. If they are and it is called akama in india in sanskrit also but it is so poisonous that if uh, if any wound uh, or anything will come in eyes they will advance go away so he was taking this because he was so to maintain it. not telling gurudev you should give me something otherwise i will give up you he had not initiated this step he was looking and testing and thus he was grazing the cows but his eyes were not and he fell down in the well it became evening and it was going to be night cows were in the said of rishi his master and he saw that oh today upamanyu has not reached even where his cows has come and he was searching upamanyu who are where 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 and from well he told guru ji i am here what are you doing in the well oh i fell down why you fell down <laughs> i took ek one and thus it came in my eyes i became blind so i could not return oh and he went there and he took him out of bed and told what i have obeyed how i have told to you i have obeyed me and serving me now you are qualified eh? and he gave his hand and told that all brahma vidyas and all vedic knowledge should come and at once also rup goshami jiv goshami jiv goshami was disciple of rup goshami also there are so many like raghunath disciple of uh, sarup damoda shikshak chetan mahapur ke bhi how he was serving his guru dev he was not telling guru dev you should supply me jagannath prasadam luchi puri halwa man bhog and all these things so test for sweets never day and night chanting remembering and serving what chaitanya mahaprabhu swarup tamodra to and very soon he began to be always ast shakti dikar i think that this disciple is more better more superior than upamanyu and aruni 
then a new Vedas, Veda, Vedic knowledge. But the essence of Ved is Srimad Bhagavatam, or Rasa, or Bhakti. And among Bhakti, Gopi Bhakti is most Ravnan was serving the Gurudev, attenuating this thing. But how? Left everything, his home, like kingdom, beautiful wife like angels, more than angels. And so each person left his everything and became Ganesha Bhav. Tattvama. Nam Asesh Mandal Pating Shading Sada Tukshvat Bhutva Dina Ganesha Bhav Karunaya Kofing Gantha Shita. The left of Rupa Sanatana, Raghunath Das Kursana. Mandala Patim Shreni, what is Mandala Shreni? By how appellants like so much emperor. Wives, children, father, mother, everything for Krishna consciousness. And became Dina Ganesha Bhav, Dina Ganesha Bhav. Very humble and very akincha, having nothing. Dina Ganesha Kau, Karunaya Kopina Kanthar Sitau, and only door and coffin was there. Nothing. And thus, doing all the chanting, remember, in the ocean of rush, of three pastimes of Krishna over to So we should try to be like that, Rupa Ravudana and all others, if you want to have rain like this. Without serving Guru Dev, we cannot be like this. Don't try to cheat Guru Dev. But Guru Dev should be also so qualified, not so called Guru, and Sish also not so called disciple. No harm you are living in family life. No harm. You can develop your Krishna. So here, first of all, Sutta Goswami is telling, first he told, Shabai Punsang Paro Dharmo Jato Bhakti Ratok Khaje Ahe Tukya Pratikata Dhyatma Sam Prasidati He has asked Punsang Ekantata Sreyastanno Sansutam Arhasi Gruhi Na Shaddhananam Jenatma Sam Prasidati All the Rishis were asking Sut Goswami you know all the Vedas, Upanishada, all the Puran, Itihas. You are disciple of Vyasadeva. So, you should try to give essence of all, how we, all the Jivas, especially in Kalju. Sreya, Sreya means? Benefited. How? Now, Kalikal is very, very, Dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, perhaps you are realizing this or not, I am not. But those who will realize quickly, they will be what? detached with them. And those who are not realizing this, oh, I will give up all these things too much. After tomorrow, after one year, when my wife will die, or when my husband will die, when I will be old, never you will be old. In the meantime, if you die, then what? So, at once do what you want to do just now. So he is telling that you should tell me, how we can be, what, 
benefited, benefited in this life. So that our <coughs> life will be successful. And then he told him, tell him, Shabai Punsan, Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhokka Je Ahetukka Bhavita Jayatma Samprasadati. Only there is only way. What that is? Bhakti. To whom? To whom? Purushottame. Who is Purushottam? Krishna's two Bhagavan Shrayam. So Bhakti in the lotus feet of Krishna. But it should be Ahetukki. Causeless. And a spontaneous. And by this Atma will be pleased. Happy. What Atma? There are two kinds of Atma. atma. One Atma, Paramatma. And another is his, his part and person. That is Atma. So, so if Krishna is pleased, then our Atma will be pleased. And if you are not pleasing him by this Bhakti, continuous and without any reason, then and vadanti tattva vidas tattam yajviyam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwaniti shaptati. He told that. Vadanti tattva vidas, those who are qualified in tattva, established truths, they told that. Adhyay gyan is paramatattva. Who is adhyay gyan? Krishna is himself. How? How is that? There is no second to Krishna. No another Bhagavan. Shankara and all others are not Bhagavan. Brahma is not Bhagavan. They are part and person of Krishna. So only Krishna is Advay Gyan Paratattva. But how we are seeing so many persons and so many worlds and so many things? Oh, it has come by his own power. That is Swarup Shakti. Swarup Shakti becomes or works like three ways. Swarup Shakti, Bhairanga Shakti and Jiva Shakti. From Jiva Shakti we have come. So. And from Swarup Shakti all Vaikuns and all others there. And by Maya Shakti all has come. So only from Krishna all these are. So all including is Bhagavan. So if you are doing bhakti to him, your life will be successful, otherwise not. So Sridhantam Swakata Krishna Purnya Shavana Kirtana Hidyantasto Hiya Patrani Vidhuno Sohit Sadam. If you will hear the powerful and very sweet Harikatha pastimes of Krishna. Only by hearing and hearing, nothing to practice. Parikshit Maharaj never practiced anything because after seven days he passed. He went. So he only by hearing. What? Krishna will come by through his these years here. And he will clear all these things and make a seed forever here. And after that, Vidhunos. Mm, Nasta prayeshu avadreshu. If there is any anartha there, he will clear all the anarths. And then, nityam bhagavat sevaya. Sadhana bhakti, here sadhana bhakti. Then will come bhava bhakti. And then, bhava bhakti will come, then bhakti will be nasty. Nasty means not coming lower down. Staying in and gradually Vidyate Hridaya Granthi Chindyante Sarvasansaya Chiyante Chasya Karmani Dishta Evat Nishwari If anyone will hear, see Krishna here Vidyate Hridaya Granthi Hridaya Granthi means the knot of Jeev and Maya There is a knot if you are trying yourself by your intelligence and senses, it will more 
with Titan. Like elephants in dal dal. Mark, quick sand. Quick sand. Quick sand. Quick sand. Quick sand. If elephants are trying, going down, down, down. And if they will get up, everything and lie down, anyone can come and take them out. So we should be like that. Hmm? Surrender ourselves and praying Krishna. Then all doubts will go away. Chyante chasya karmani. And what he has done in past life, so many karmas, its fruits will be. But good and bad, everything. And then the kavis have. Ato vai kaviyo nityam bhakti param maya muda vasudeva bhagavati kurvanti atma prasidanam so all the intelligent vaishnavas devotees so try to develop their krishna consciousness in this human life very quickly other we can be die if death comes we cannot do anything so as soon as possible we should try to. And telling this he began to tell that once they asked him, Dvapare, when Dvapar came, and it was going to be end in the last, in the last uh, time of Dvapar. Shanu prapte titiye jugo parjaye, Jata Parashara Yogi. Then from Parashara Vyasa they came. And at that time he had done Vedas who came from Krishna himself by his nose. Nose of Karnapdisai Vishnu. Vedas come. Not really from Krishna. From Karnapdisai Vishnu. Vedas are coming. And it were, all were revealed in the heart of Brahma. But up to Dvapar, all became having no Brahmacharya. Not so much pure ghee, tooth and all other things. No pure air, no pure water. Nowadays in Ganges, in Jamuna, Anyone cannot that what, drink water because so impure. Also, no good air, fresh air, which are essential for life. No brahmacharya. Even brahmacharis and sannyasi, it is very hard for them to maintain brahmacharya. So, they lost their memory. They had to invent something, then paper and pen to write. What is your name? My name is Urdhramanthi. What, what? Hmm? Then they will have some machine here. <laughs> what is told? Urdhramanthi. U, then what, 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 again? Urdhva. How, how to write? <laughs> then we discovered these black things <laughs> to remember. But by the help, taking help, we lost our memory more. Because you will have to depend on them. Up till our time serving Gurudev, all these conferences were not there. And he used to take all in this. So you can think that being an old, I myself, remembering so much, thousands and thousands of slopes and so many things, at once replying so many things, you can. I have no help of Never. So, best thought, 
now the day is kali is coming now remembrance is going on ta satya tapa humility all the qualities are going on and now all are becoming bhogi so he divided vedas in four rik sham jaju atharva and he met his disciples rigved pailam sham jaimini atharva ve jaju ve baisham payan atharva ve sumant and itihas like mahabharata and all the puran he taught to this shoot lo maharsha who was killed by bhagwan ji नहीं उग्र शव एंड दैट टाइम बलदेव प्रभु कट द हेड ऑफ दैट एंड देन ऑल रिस वेयर वेटिंग व्हाट यू हैड टेल फ्रॉम वेयर ही विल हियर ऑल कुरान्स एंड देन ही टोल्ड द यस आई एम मैनेज एंड ही हिज सन वेरी लेट ऑफ लाइफ ओनली फाइव इयर्स नेकेड देयर एंड ही टुक दैट वॉच and he get his hands everything more than your father all vedas upanishads itihas puran everything should come out and he at once remembered all things and he uh, told that you should seed and you should from five years he began to recite all these things so a guru should be like bhagwan prabhu <laughs> Right. So here he did all these things. Uh, he also made Mahabharata for ladies who are not, we cannot, they cannot be always pure. Sometimes in month or they should have to be impure, and they cannot. Uh, remember all the upanishad all these things very hard for them because they are very soft heart very sweet so for them and all other those who are out of varnashram dharma for them he made mahabharata and in mahabharata he made a very upanishad like gita upanishad after that he saw saw that in vedas and upanishad there are so many things do mantra who are opposite to each other and general person cannot reconcile all sometimes he has written apanipado javana grihita pasatta chakshu shruno yakar like this that god the supreme personality of god head has no hands He has no feet, nothing, no eyes, but he does all. And sometimes he has written that Ananda Mayam Brahma, Brahma is there. And sometimes he has told that Nirguna Brahma is Nirguna. Sometimes Nirguna. Sometimes he has told that Supreme Personality of God has has some shape. some quality he is merciful he has so and so and sometimes he is telling satyam gyanam anantam brahma only qualities are there no shape no attribute nothing sometimes he is telling parash shakti vividhaiva shruyate and sometimes he is telling that opposite thing that there are no attribute no power nothing he is aja like this how to reconcile all this he was bound to make brahma sutra na <coughs> then kotor then he made brahma sutra first brahma sutra is athato brahma ji what is brahma there are were different ideas in vedas and upanishad he wanted to reconcile all and to make 
very good sutra. Sutra means contains form. Janama das jata. This is the part. From whom all the world comes. Who supports all? And after in the and all enters in them. Jato vaimani bhutani jayante jina jatani yad jivanti yad abhishanti tad vijjigyasa tad 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 Who supports? Who makes? And who he is Brahma? And sometimes satyam, jnanam, jnani is only Brahma. Then how to reconcile? So he made all this. Shastra Yoni Dva. He is the Yoni of Shastra. He is the root cause of all the Shastra. Our Shastra always define him. So many things. Ananda Mayo, not Ananda only. He is Ananda and Ananda Mayo both. Both at a time. How? For this he made Pura. And especially Srimad Bhagavatam. But up till now he had not done. He was thinking that Artha, Dharma, Kama, Moksha, everything I have done, but I am not satisfied. Why I am not satisfied? I am not uh, happy. Something like it. What is like it? He was thinking. And in the meantime, a Mahatma came. Who was he? <coughs> he was Narada Rishi. Narada Rishi Bajaya Veena Nadareka Ramana Nami. With his Veena he came and he was singing huh? Radhe Jaya Jaya Mahatma Jaya 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 All you can do. Oh, there you are. Go on, go on.
singing like so. Also, after this, Radhe Jaya Jaya. And he was so very fortunate. 